What? Here we come a wasp here. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Mimi. I'm a trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome in to the Tuesday afternoon live show. The Crafty Sidekick Shenanigans is on the other side. It's great to have you with us this afternoon. If you are new, we are Mimi Made It, and we're honored that you took the time to visit with us today as we do some cool stuff together. If you see something you like, you can purchase it on our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. Everything you want to know, you can find there. Um, today, it's going to be a cool show, I feel sure. We love for you to give us thumbs up. We call that vinnying the video. I don't know what you're doing. That's why I, I said know. I know. I know, I know, cool. I know. That's what's so funny to me. It um, typically is cool. It's always cool. We do something cool. We're awesome. Where did this sneeze come from? So anyway, Alabama Spring. Welcome in, guys. We hope you have fun this <laughs> afternoon. We're gonna have a good time together. Um, but if y'all heard us before the show, and I know you did, because I'd press go. Every time we, I say, y'all ready? Here we go. I said, I always say, here we come, a Carolyn. I don't know why. It's what I say. And as soon as I did today, she started singing. Here we come, my Among the leaves, so green. <laughs> I said every show we start, that song is in my head every single time. Because and then made. when she says that, that's always in my head. <laughs> Here so, we come, with Carolyn. So yeah, you see there you how, go. How our cards, <laughs> how our heads are. I'm reading cards and saying, yeah. So here's something cool. Um, I always ask a question, or at least I try to remember to. I've been doing pretty good lately with this, but I always ask a question at the beginning of the show or in the chat. So if you ever get here early, go to the chat so you can start chatting with everybody about it. Today's question is: When have you made home decor or party decor? from your cardstock and how big a job was it? <laughs> I literally typed, how big a job was it? Um, I love reading what you guys said. Like I made Easter egg and bunny magnets last year, used my Cricut to do it. So it wasn't too big of a job. Um, let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, I've done both. I Cricut cut all my images for the party decorations a few years ago. So not so bad. The home decor is more involved. My May's advent calendar two years ago. And then um, let's see. I made a few shadow boxes. They were fun. Made organizers for my uh, kitchen pantry. I just finished up a ta table favors over 200 people at a fancy tea party we do at her church. At her church. Um, praise the Lord for a Cricut Maker 3 and cardstock. <laughs> That's cute. I made flowers from dyes and it took a while. I just started using my Cricut. I can't believe how much easier it is. Isn't that funny? Everybody loves their Cricut. For, like if you're a teacher, Sunday school teacher, uh, if you do parties, if you like to entertain, the cricket's the way to go because you can cut so many things at once. But we're going to do something today a little different. A lot of you um, talked about it. The reason I asked that question today, I had a friend. So we're making paper flowers. That's what we're doing today. That's why the thumbnail said, don't water these flowers. <laughs> if you water, we're in trouble. But I had a friend who made all of the wedding flowers for her daughter's wedding out of paper. Like all of them. You hear me? Like all. centerpiece. Like bouquets, all. boutonnieres, all of them. It That's took her insane. over a year and she made them all. And I I was just like, wow. And when I say a friend that was a subscriber, like she messaged me what she was doing and was sending me like updates. It was wild. Can you imagine doing that? The pressure. Oh, I just don't think I could do it. Now I've made floral bouquets with silk flowers. I've made boutonnieres and all that. But having to make the flower and then make the bouquet and having to make the flower and then make the boutonniere, that's, can you imagine? No, because I did wedding invitations and it scared the crap out of me. If that person is watching, because it's been years ago, it's been when the cricket came out, they were telling me about it. I want to say they did the spinny flowers. Kim said I made paper roses for my daughter's wedding. I can't imagine. Can't imagine. I made little red wagons for Noah's birthday. So we are decorating for spring open house. If you don't know, we have open house happening April 19th and 20th. Y'all please come visit with us if you can. It's going to be Friday and Saturday and we're doing our spring decorating. And so far we're trying to do a lot of paper decorating, just a lot of stuff that's papery. And so today we're like, what can, what can we do with blah, blah, blah. And Shannon's like, you know what? We can make paper um, flowers out of those rosettes that I haven't got to play with yet. So those rosette dyes. So let me show you the dye. I, oh, I don't have the, um... that's okay package it's okay package. so these are the ones these are those uniquely ones and this guy right here is amazing so what we've done to prep is we picked a paper pack and the one we picked a peck of pickle peppers is what we did first uh, that's what it sounded like i was gonna say um and this is the paper pack that we chose because we're doing spring so we did the spring collection dots and stripes i'm not using this blue and i'm not using this green only because where i'm putting these i feel like this will blend in too much and i'm actually putting them on green so i know i don't want to do that but I'm going to use green for the center. Now oh, I'm going to show cool. you. I what? 
Cindy said, I once made flower boutonnieres out of comic book paper. That was really that. cool. I've done that. Um, it was either one of my, was it either one of my brother's weddings or was it Jared's or someone's? We did that. We made comic book uh, bouquets. Because remember, he did, whoever it was did Superman and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, Jared really, did Superman. It's really cool. Okay, here's the deal about this. I have a cricket and I can do my cricket too. But when I can just grab this, oh my, my screen is frozen. Let me try to fix it. Somebody said it was frozen. I don't know that I can fix it, but we'll try. If I can't, I'll just get rid of me. Let's see if we can fix it. Oh, yeah, you're frozen. Your eyes are frozen. I look and like that expression. My mom. There we go. <laughs> that was even better, wasn't it? Did you see that one? <laughs> you jumped. I'm not frozen. I'll just play it. <laughs> okay, so I, we enjoyed the dyes, and this is a super easy one to do, right? So, what we've done is cut that whole pack as many times as we could, correct? Yes. Do we have one mess up? Or something? No, we have one that's going to be three. I want to do it first. We have three. Shades. We have one we're going to make three petals, and I feel like y'all will like that. Let me show you if you pick up these dyes. I love this dye. I think it's great, but let me show you something cool. So, not only does it um, cut, but it also embosses. I'm trying to get that where you can see it. There it is. Do you see that there's all those little lines? If you folded each of these lines it's a quarter of an inch fold but y'all know I don't like to do fiddly I don't like that so I'm going to fold it at the half inch mark which is in the centers of the petals but you can fold it and make them really thin right and I think this is okay, I noticed work. you're not scoring it I it's mean, already not, done not scoring what's the word when you use the thing to flatten it I will you the bone folder yeah I will after I get it accordion folded and the petals do the work you guys like you just kind of look how easy that is. This is something I could do a lot of. And and also they're so large. So you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. She can do a lot of them because I cut 13 flowers out. Yeah. Um, but these wouldn't be, I'm saying this wouldn't be hard to sit down and do. No. I'm not a big fan of doing those spinny flowers. And I, I like doing them for something little. Like if I was doing just a wall hanging or a picture or something like that. But having to do for a whole entire event or a whole wedding or all the centerpieces, or I think that'd be overwhelming for me. Shannon could do that. I, I'm not that person. She, Shannon likes tedious repetition. work. Repetition. She likes repetition. That's sad. But That's I could I do. not do it. I don't really think you need this step. I just ask. I mean, you ain't got to do it. No, just I, I was going to do it, but I don't think I need it. So we'll just keep going. Because what we want to do here is make a bunch of these. Why don't you? Can you record info while you work? I can. can't. No. Not in link stuff. That's what I thought. I forgot about that. <laughs> you want me to do some? Um, sure. Nine, two, five. Actually, nine, I mean, two, she's four. doing that. I Are can do serious? this. Are you serious? Yes. And they can't watch me do it. Prove but... that you're doing it. Okay. So do I fold? I fold dark side. You got to hold it up to the camera. Oh, wow. Maybe I can do a lot because you do the prep. Well, all I did was cut them. I do a lot, lot of prep, y'all. She does a lot of prep. <laughs> she does a lot of prep. It's all according. Yeah. See, it is very helpful. I did tell her today I felt yeah. a little Martha Stewarty. I actually did. did say that. She did say it. Because she came over funny. here and she was doing all the cutting. And all I did was centers. <laughs> and I was like, I feel a little Martha Stewarty. If y'all don't know that joke. Look, Vinny, are you feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Um, no, not that I want to craft. I just was be willing to help. The Martha Stewart joke is when years and years ago, I told somebody in my staff that my dream is to one day come in and just stand behind a table and then tell go, me what, what we're I'm feeling, feeling today. Yeah. And I said, because I, I feel like, folder? I said, I feel like that's what um, Martha Stewart does. I don't know if she does. Now, you know, these like are not going to be as good as yours, right? Is that a one and a half inch punch? The center one? No, I can't find it. That was a one and a quarter. One and a quarter? One and a quarter. I couldn't find my one and a half. I probably would have done a one and a half. Anyway, that's the joke. So today when Shannon handed these over here to me, I was like, mm, I feel real Martha Stewart Incoming. today. You can hold on to three at a time because it doesn't go into this one. <clears throat> where'd that go, babe? Did I do it right right there in your hand? Well, where'd mine go? Oh, in my hand. No. Mine's right there. On Did the he knock one away? Because I had... Okay. What just happened, you guys that are watching live? Did one of these fly away? No. I had a... Oh, I already glued it on. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> when I looked down and saw the purple one, I'm like, I had a purple too. Look, that looks like car uh, candles. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm candle. doing that right. Yeah, I am. Oh, gosh. I paid it wrong. 
<laughs> now that, okay, look, <laughs> I picked up this and I meant to pick up this. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> That's a new problem. So what to pay happens if to it do. don't fold exactly right? You can refold it. It's paper. You can train it. Anyway, so today I felt very Martha Stewart. -y. I think that's what she does, right? I feel like I feel like back in the day she probably did a lot of playing. Howdy, let's we'll start on this end. There has to come a time when she can't keep up. All right, so got it all done. This is my favorite part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down like this. Even though that's cute with the three colors. That's real cute. Now we're going to want more of those. Um, I'm going to let it pop up like that. So what what I mean is this is my front side. Neither of these are front or back because we're going to have them. Well, some of them won't be where you can see both sides and then some of them might be. So either won't have a front or back, but um, I'm going to call this the front for today. That's a, that's a, um, that's a small uh, a lampshade. Or cupcake holder lampshade. It's a cute little lampshade. That means you got to put it on your head. It's a lampshade. It was a cute little lampshade. My kind of, my kind of deal there. All right. These guys. Okay. I want to show you something. The back one, I want this side to show because that's what's going to show. Well, I can do it here because you see how this is the tone on tone dots. I want the tone on tone green, tone on tone green one to be back here. So I want to make sure I put that down. That does not matter. Y'all can do that any way y'all want to. Okay. But then what I'm going to do is put a, a, a dollop. I'll say dollop. I was going to say glob. Let's say dollop of glue. And my glue is hot because it's been plugged bad. up a while. I'm going to sit this over the top of that. Okay. And I'm going to press it down, keeping my fingers out of the way. And I'm going to press it into the glue. I lost my glue. There it is. But really quick, while I've got it like that, I'm going to slide it off and flip it over. And just make sure we're kind of in the center. So if both sides show, we're good. <laughs> I might be right. That's what I've always said. So I'm just going to do this like this and let this catch for a second. And then I'm going to put a little more in the middle like so, and I'm going to grab another dot, and this one I'm going to put the white side, the white dotted side up, and now I'm just going to press and hold that. I like hot glue for these because you don't have to hold them as long. You can use your art glitter glue. You can use sticky tape. You can use, sticky tape doesn't hold as well, though, in a decorative confess, situation. That one ain't near as good. If you're doing sticky it's tape for right home it. decor, unless it's a flat, flat surface, it's not as good. If you're, I don't know how to say this. How do I, so like even here, if I do sticky tape where these come together over time, that's going to separate. It always does. Like we have had, we have things that we've had forever that just separate. Right. But if I use my art glitter glue, it typically doesn't separate. Look how beautiful that flower is. It is so pretty. I, like I love colors. that. So look at we the might, two. We might have to do the blue and the green to hang from the ceiling. And do them like this. We may have to open another pack and put a, a third color. I love that with the three colors. That is so pretty. So Vinny's got these ready. Most kind of, sort of. So this, not, like we'll see what a purple one looks like. Now, I will give you a little warning. Warning? Here's a warning. When you're glow, glowing, wow, y'all. <laughs> you're starting to sound like me. When you're gluing these little fence pieces, what you want to do is make sure you get that glue all the way to that front edge. The reason is it gets some pressure on it. And so you just want to be sure that that edge can stay attached well. And again, you can use sticky tape, especially if you're going to glue this onto something else and give it some support. But because these are going to be kind of floating, I kind of need to use my glue. Yeah, we thought the colors were cheery too. They are. That they? was our biggest thing. We were looking for cheery colors. Where do you see the shop for? I'll, I'll, of course, even if you can't make it, we'll give you a spring. We have to give you a spring tour because you won't believe it. Like we've never done a spring live. I mean, a spring um, open house. So decorating for spring has been super fun. Like we even went to Rustic yesterday and got so many cool things. <laughs> yes. You want to do another one? Are you tired? Yes, we did. I mean, I can. If you're tired, you're fine. I, I mean, it don't matter. I want to see what a yellow one looks like because that's the only one we don't have done so far. Um, but we went to Rustic yesterday and got so many cute spring things. So we're excited to get those displays done and get everything ready. As you can tell, we did not cut anything short to give you so that it wouldn't work out while you were crafting today. What is or that? Or oversized from his oh. craft from Scrapacropolis. Oh, yes. This seems to be we working properly. We sabotaged him at Craftacropolis. I would like hot glue wouldn't hold up if it was temperature. I don't have that problem. And I'm in the South. Like I've even had people tell me that they can't use hot glue outside. I have used hot glue on my wreaths and stuff outside. And I'm going to tell you something. It gets hot here. Have you ever had a problem with your hot glues, like your recent of separating and stuff outside? Mm -mm. 
I've done wreaths from my front door and I guess maybe no, it's birds the are my problem. Birds are my problem too. Birds. Ugh. Birds and wasps. I would hate for that to be a problem for me because I use hot glue for home decor, especially outside. I mean, that's typically what I use for wreath making and stuff like that. And so, but I've heard other people say that. I've never really had an issue with that. I mean, it has to, be, I guess it's because without direct heat, it would have to be super hot, I would think. I mean, it could be a quality of glue stick. I'm not know. sure. Maybe um, if you use the high temp for outdoor, you should be okay, I would think, because it takes a super hot temp to melt this one. Maybe it's low temp glue guns that do it. You know it could be because a low temp glue would take less heat to melt, yeah. right? I wonder, I've always used a hot one. I've always had a hot. I mean, I've always had a high temp. I have them that alternate. Like I have one burn that I can turn. I've it. always burned myself. <laughs> Burning myself. Has been if you are really not doing right. If you are not using a oh, hot glue gun and burning yourself, you. I'm, I'm definitely off, and I, I can't seem to get on. Hang on I'll fix that. I think this one got you off right here. Let me just. How about you finish that one? Let me just fix it. Let me fix it. I got to tell you something funny my brother said yesterday. So um, Vince and Josh have been working. Wow, this one's really kind of. I know it was terrible. They've been working bad. to have, we're having a, like a family get together at the land, this at Vince's land this week or our land this weekend. Anyway, Vince and Josh have been working hard to get it ready. And so they've been building benches and building things for us and stuff. And my brother and I were talking and he said, you know, there's rain on the forecast. And I said, yeah. And he said, we might need a backup idea. And I said, well, I really don't want to do that yet until we have to, till we just have to. And I said, cause Josh and Vince have been working day and night getting this place ready. And I said, so I really want to give them the best chance they have. And he said, okay. And I sent him some pictures of them working in the shop, getting stuff ready. And he said, they need to film that and put it on YouTube. Make the channel. Uncle Vinny made it. <laughs> and then uh, Hannah came back and so it ne said, no, it needs to be Vin, Vin Vin made it or something Vin like Vin. that. It was cute. I don't, I don't know what's happened to this one. This one, this might not have been a you issue, actually. I mean, it probably is because one of those pink ones or purple Vin ones Vin. that I did. This might not have been a you issue. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. I We're definitely close. cut them two layers of paper because sometimes with these that um, like to score, if you cut too many layers, your scores don't go all the way through. Well, there we go. We're going to let that one be. That's pretty good. All right. I'm let's sorry. Get this guy done. No, I think, listen, I will tell you this. If you get one fold off. It's hard to bring it back in. I mean, you can't get it back. I tried it's and tried. It's hard to do it. Plus, thank if you, you can't for fixing see, my mess up. No, if you can't see the line. <laughs> now, are you saying I'm just old? No, that just reminded my mama. <laughs> Somebody would say to her, if your friends jumped off the cliff, would you? She said, if I couldn't see the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, yeah, it sounds like fun. She would, if I couldn't see the cliff. <laughs> Thank you for praying for no rain. That'd be awesome. That's so funny. <laughs> you remember her saying that? Mm -hmm. Anytime somebody said, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? And she's like, if I couldn't see the bridge. <laughs> so that would mean <sighs> fell off the bridge. She's a funny thing, y'all. Funny thing. Vince, you get an A plus for effort. Well, I think I've discovered a way to do it much better. That's what Let somebody else. That's no. what happens when you papercraft. You learn new things. Flowers ain't perfect. Now, Melissa said it right. She said flowers aren't perfect. Like, aren't just doesn't. Well, I can out. assure you <laughs> that these ain't perfect. I don't know. Mine are pretty good. Well, I would expect yours to be better than mine. No, I would not. I think whenever y'all come visit us, you need to look for the yellow one and see if you can even find the one that's different because you ain't going to be able to. Nope. Actually, don't. No one wants to do that right Please now. don't. Because somebody be like, I found it. I found your <laughs> mess up. Hey, Rick. I found, I found Rick. it. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick, I found it. <laughs> hey, Rick. Okay. 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 I think I can fix this little guy, too. Wonderful day. 
Did you find another one I messed up? No, I folded one funny myself. Don't say it. I know, you can blame me. I folded one funny myself. I look at this one. I did this one, and I did the <gasps> doohickey every time. Look how beautiful, you guys. Vinny Thank did you. good. That one I did better. I don't have a hickey do. This just took a little practice. No, it's using the tool. You want? You think it was the tool? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have the a tool. space. I think air, you did good on that one. I think it was practice. Holes. What's her head spinning thinking about? I saw that. Not the core, but working on making 50 four by four Rubik's cubes for employee appreciation next month. Wow. It's a lot of one by one squares. Wow. Well, May May did decor for um, VBS and we made, what was it? Massive, Rubik cubes. Rubik's, yeah, massive they were Rubik's cubes. We do a lot of paper decor during VBS. We yes. made game stations and everything out of paper. It was When's your VBS? I'm going to go on vacation. You do every year. I try. But not before we have to do decor. Yeah. Just before we have to decorate and teach the kids. I think it's the first week in June, isn't that when you always go? Yep. Oh, this one's off. Here, Vinny, He's talking about, one? let me show your tool. He's talking about a bone folder. Yeah. This one's really off. Let me show it. Can you hand it to me, please? He's using a Teflon bone folder. Yeah, if I use that, and why can I think of the word? I don't know what you're trying to talk about. Creased it mm. with the bone folder. Oh, I did this one before it was dry. It stayed together a lot better. <laughs> Shannon puts the vacation in VBS. <laughs> yeah, I really did want to ask them if they could move. I can't ask my whole church to move their VBS so that I can have my assistant. But man, does it make things better if I did. <laughs> At least I get so to be there for the decor. <laughs> You usually are, yeah, you're here for the decor and the prepping of the projects. You yes. always help me get the crafts ready and stuff. But she's never there to help me in the day. And I'm going to tell you something. There's, I have really good helpers at VBS, really, really good. But there's something to be said about somebody who kind of knows your workflow. That's so much different when, like, I turn I around and the thing's already struggling. there. Yeah, like, the thing I need is already there. Or the thing we forgot, she's already taken care of. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that one got where it was supposed to be. Let's flip it over without burning myself. Okay. Turning it over is not too bad and getting this in place is not too bad. You guys, if you have someone who loves sunflowers, this would be perfect with a brown center. This would be so cute. I'm trying to read what people are saying. You guys got rain. We don't have any today, boy. It's been nice today. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it is Pretty a beautiful day. day yesterday and today. It's yesterday was a little Saturday cloudy, day. but it turned into a beautiful day. Don't forget to Vinny. Yes, please don't forget to Vinny the video. This is getting hotter. My glue is getting hotter. Well, it is a hot glue gun. So we'll do this. Cool thing about this too is it's non-stick, so if some of your glue comes out, it's non going to stick. Non gonna, non gonna stick. Non gonna stick. Look how pretty and how quick. Even though, I mean, I'm gonna tell something. Shannon didn't even cut die cutting these till like 120. Like, oh, it was lighter than that. I mean, we came back from lunch and she started die cutting. Yeah, it goes pretty quick. They're pretty. Or start die cutting. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was probably around 120 when we started. So we have 466 people watching currently, and 253 likes. So we appreciate that very much, but we could use a few more. Well, so Ms. if you're enjoying yourself, get to hitting that thumbs up button. Miss Heidi, you haven't missed much. We're just um, um, folding and creasing and Mame's gluing rosettes. Oops, that didn't go well. Sorry. I think they'd be beautiful if you ink the edges, but that's not the look we're going for. Like... I think if, if it was the look you're going for, but our spring decor is very bright and fresh is what we're going for. So in my mind, I mean, I could use cookie dough and it wouldn't be much, but I think they look really, but you could certainly ink these, especially if you were thinking of the, um, now if I was making this a sunflower, I would probably ink the edges if it was a sunflower because that'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Uh, thank you, Deanna. Yeah, we appreciate that. We do try to have the best customer service you could ever find. We're not perfect, and we do make mistakes from time to time on people's orders, but we try to make them right if we mess them up. Speaking of, I was supposed to remind you, because there's been a couple of people um, 
saying they're looking for a product that's not online, because we're getting ready for spring open house, some products may be in the retail store that you're looking for. So like we we're trying to keep some inventory over there for when people are coming to visit. So if there's something you're looking for that you can't find, maybe reach out to Haley and see if she's got it in her retail inventory and then she can get it for you. Um, are we hanging these up? We are going to hang these up. We're putting them in our spring decor in the retail store because we want some really, really pretty, um, bright, um, springy colors. And we've got the perfect space for these. Yep. I've been missing this part. So you just roll them up like that and you just push them down and they flatten out. Uh huh. Can you see that? I do see That's that. That's blue. That goes on the bottom and the top. Bottom first. See, and I, I've been grabbing it and, and sliding it. And that just kind of sets it in place. And I put that back one in the middle. And that grabs my bottom rosette. Then I let that cool for a second. Heidi, we are using, um, or we used the uniquely creative large rosette dot. I um, tagged it just above or linked it just above um, to cut it. But we also have two other sizes available. Then I put glue on top. We have the small and rosette. And put the dot on top, and it, you have it on both sides, so it holds And it in place. we have the medium rosette die. And then Meme just used a one and a quarter inch scalloped punch to make the center. I'm gonna tell y'all something about punches. They're over. They're overlooked. They are. We sleep on them because here's the deal. I have. They might hurt if you sleep on them. Don't sleep on them. <laughs> Imagine the mark. <laughs> uh, I have three quarter. Sorry, no, I have quarter inch circle up to two and a quarter inch circle and where I can I have circle and scallop and I'm just going to tell you something we use them a lot like we lean to these matter of fact there's a there's a circle die in this set but yes. it's so much faster to go pinch 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 you know what I'm saying pinch poke yeah so we do that a lot so Patricia asked are you going to do these in like a garland or are you going to hang them individually on like fishing line or what's your thought so we have a grass wall behind our cash wrap y'all know what I'm talking about when I say when those grass walls like a lot of people are doing them it's kind of outdated at this point but we really still like ours a lot and if you've ever been here before if you've ever seen videos it's just a big grass wall behind the cash the cash register and we like to decorate it for the different seasons and stuff like that and um I made some flowers to go on it out of netting um, out of that um, tubing, the net tubing for a wreath making. And they're super cute, but it's not exactly what I wanted to do because I wanted to use stuff that we actually carry in the store and we've kind of gotten rid of those, that tubing and the wreath making stuff. So um, we were talking about making some more flowers to go up there because it just didn't have quite enough flowers, you know. And then Shannon was like, we could do it with these rosettes and make some pretty big flowers. With th This dye quickly makes a big flower quickly. So all of you watching on Facebook, thanks for being with us today. It's great to be broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube. So we appreciate you watching over there. And I'm not sure how to tell you to like on Facebook. Just like you do. But normally. I guess it's the same, but, I don't, but it doesn't show up on our YouTube video. No, no likes, but it's right? good for Facebook too. But we like you on Facebook too. You're I so was, good at your job. Yes. These would be adorable. Well, thank um, you, as, I guess. As a bow on a package. Oh, gosh, yes. Hey, can you imagine doing them in red at Christmas with like a gold center and make them like poinsettias and do Christmas packages and all under your tree that all have that on it? That'd be neat. Benny's good at his job, you guys. He's over there keeping up with everything and talking to the to the folks. I never give you enough credit for that. He hey, makes sure that the folks on Facebook don't feel left out. Yes. How are you going to hang these? Well, we, we get pretty creative with how we hang things. We... Because it's that grass wall, sometimes the wall itself will hold them. Because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we can tuck them in the grass just right and they stay. And we're not afraid of that. Um, but we'll probably, typically we, we utilize a lot of pipe cleaners. We do that. We utilize a lot of um, floral wire. Twine. Twine. A lot of twine. Sometimes fishing, fishing line. Um, these won't be dangling, though. These won't be like a banner or dangling. They're going to be. So that, the, the, um. The flex tubing that I use, the green one, makes the cutest um, stems, doesn't it? It's like coming up the thing. Unless we dangle them from the ceiling. Are we going to dangle them from the ceiling? Yeah, yeah I mean, that would be great for, for bows on, on packages, I think. Yeah. I mean, I if mean we, especially um, if you do them at Christmas time, you could do, you know, use Christmas paper and stuff. Did you just hear us say that? I don't, I don't know. know. I we must not have. That. I was I looking at something else. I apologize. Um, 
Each we of, may hang these. From, we sorry. may hang some from the ceiling. We do have a couple of spots that we want some more stuff. We put a lot of stuff on the ceiling already, but we want to put some more stuff on the ceiling. So we may do some of these if we can get enough made. I, I actually heard you say that, but I thought she was reacting to what you said and oh, said, "Great, now I have to I do you. that." I got you. So she might have been. I'm not. I wasn't able to look at the chat. Um, but you might have saw her comment and, and responded to her, I and I just wasn't Shannon. paying enough attention at that moment. I was going to tell y'all something about these about from the ceiling. Yeah, we're doing a lot of ceiling decorating this year. <laughs> Swinging from the rafters. We baby. have a lot of stuff on the ceiling, but we thought this would be cute either way. I may ask, um, y'all know Geneva and Opal that work. They may be watching, I don't know, but they work for us on Saturday. We talked about asking them if they could make some more so we could have a lot of these whenever people come to visit. I think they'll be pretty. Yes. And there's something we can put up and use year after year for all different places. Let's do, we've done one of every color now. Do you want me to mix some up again and do some mixies? I mean, you could. Because I think that's going to be lonely by itself. What do you think? You want me to fold some more? You want me to fold a pink and a yellow? I just need the bone folders well, we should though, do is I do three mixies that again. so we don't waste anything. Well, there's three purples folded. Okay, so do a pink and a yellow, and I'll let Vinny do a pink, a pink and, and a yellow. yellow. I'm going to need that bone folder back, though. Sorry. Because he strives for purple. This die is by Uniquely and Creative. It makes them beautiful. These are the two other options, which make different size ones. Um, but this one was called I don't remember. Uh, large, large rosette. Large rosette. Oh, here's how you know it's like. This is rosette medium, rosette small, rosette large. I love these. What Greg and say? Did I miss it? Yes. Now, I have a lot of rosette ornaments on my channel if you want to watch those. We've, I've made, well, we've made fall leaves out of out of rosette style. Not with a die, just cut it. We've done poinsettias. I've done snowflakes. I've done a snowman. So, yes, it's a good idea to sink your um, string or whatever you're going to use in here. But we can put it on later because I don't know how we're going to, we don't know where they're going to go. So, I'm not really stressing about putting a string. Especially because where I want to put these, I really want to attach them more from here than here because if I put a string there sometimes it'll hang out unless you get it glued in here just right but where we're going to put them we'll be good we'll be golden we're pretty good about figuring out ways to hang things on that gar that grass wall when will you get the Romans road stamp back do they mean the gift of God maybe the one? we may have it in the retail store if you need it sooner than waiting it may be over there so if you want to reach out, if you want to reach out to Haley, so just call the number. Uh-oh, my phone. Let's don't do that. Come back. Come back. It does look like little fences. It does. It'd be cute little picket fences for something. Adorable. And um, especially if you had the other sizes, too, because some of those are shorter, so you wouldn't, like, if you needed a short fence. Yep. You wouldn't have to cut this one, which, I mean, you can just cut this one. shorter you can never get them to fold right this one's pretty handy because the scores are done for us but my thing is i'm not using the tiny i'm not doing them quarter inch i'm doing them half inch i cannot do a pretty quarter of an inch fold i always get crooked on those if i'm trying to do this the other one the little ones and y'all know if you've watched me for any time and you've watched me make rosettes all these years, you know I do not do them that are skinny. I just can't do it. My fingers don't do it. And I'd rather have a thicker rosette and it look good than a little tiny wonky. one that doesn't look good. A wonky one. Wonky. Also, let the paper do the work. You know, let the fold happen. You've got your score in there. Don't try to force it. Just bend it so that that paper goes. It's real easy to force it. It is. You can't force it because you'll get off. You got to let the paper find itself. You see what I mean by watch? I'm just going to push this and let the paper find the score. And it does. My paper found the wrong self. And then if I push it back, I'm not telling it. I'm just letting it find its score. And then I'm just lining up my pedal. Here you go, dear. Thank Where's you. Yeah, yelly. Old yelly. Well, welcome, Marilyn, for your first live show. God, I thought I was over, y'all. I thought I'd done. <laughs> Just when I think I'm finished. I didn't know we were going to put Vinny to work today. That's kind of fun. It ain't fun over here because this one's giving me fit. This one's not scored well. I can't do the Mountain Valley Folds, but I can. Maybe that's it what it is. Right they're not scored like real well. Maybe yeah. that. Maybe it's their fault I'm having so much trouble. I'm not having well, any issues with the fall. 
I hey. think again, I, I cut these two layers. So I think the back layer of paper doesn't get the score as well as the front layer of paper. I really so am it's telling your you fault that I'm having all this trouble. Watch me here, babe. Hey, look, I got to be me. You know what I'm saying? I know, but I don't want you to miss this. We know where we're going, right? Yep. So if you'll just push, it'll appear. You don't have to work it. Hmm. If you're doing it with your own fingers and trying to hit that line, you're going to struggle. Mm -hmm. But if you just push, y'all watch. I'm imagining I'm doing it with your fingers. You see that? Then just push. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even using my whole hand. I'm not even using all my fingers right there. I'm just pushing. That's what a score is for. It breaks the fibers and tells the paper to bend here. See what I'm saying? Push. There's one spot in there that's showing sure enough jacked up. Push it real good. I love how they keep landing over here. Oh Thank my. you for laughing at me. Wouldn't these make cute bugs? I bet we could make cute bugs out of these. Y'all, I'm going to have to show y'all. We did something with our cutter bees. Did I tell y'all what we do with our cutter bees? Have I told them this? I don't think so. On our back wall, the sign, that the chalkboard that Shannon wrote on, the saying that she said was, be like a bug be ready when creativity springs up for spring it's so cute and we took some cutter bee scissors and added wings to them and put them all around the board and it is so cute i think i see what you're saying yeah let the paper do the work <laughs> Teresa said oops got so engrossed in your show that i overcooked my crumble it is now a crunchy <laughs> not a crumble but a crunchy, <laughs> <It's> a crunchy. <laughs> That's funny. And they like that. I said I was trying to imagine your fingers folding. And not in. yours. Yeah. See, this one folds easier because it's scored deeper. Again, I think I think the, the position of the paper has something to do with it. I'm going to tell you something, too. I know. Okay. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to let you do your thing. What are you talking about? I find, for me, when I put my fingers on either end, I mess up. When I put my finger in the middle and let it do, let it do what it do. It does better. When I put it on either end, I find myself driving that score, and it's not, not the same. What in this one? Um, because I was teaching Benny. That's why. We need more Vinny crafting in our lives. I love that. Bless y'all's heart. Y'all need to see him and Josh work, and it's so cute. Tune in Thursday for Vinny Made It. <laughs> Do a live show Vinny, from the shop. Vinny, are you shop. having fun? That's the question. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, came for, the, came for the crafts and the open love of the Lord, but the comedy is stellar. I, I'm sorry. Awesome. I'm sorry. I don't think we're that funny. <laughs> I do. Sometimes we are pretty funny. Today was pretty funny. I didn't even tell Shannon this. So, Vinny is wanting to get him like a, it's not a garage. It's like a, do y'all know what a pole barn is? Is a that too shed. southern? Is a pole barn too southern for folks? Oh, that's a twofer. If you don't know what a pole barn is, it's basically a barn that doesn't have sides. It just has poles that holds a roof up. And he's wanting to get one of those. Well, we went, we stopped by after lunch to look at one today. And we got out of the car and we're headed to it. And I don't even know if you, you weren't paying attention. You surely weren't. We I got out of the car and we start walking to the pole barn. And I'm walking to the front of the pole barn to go in it. Y'all, I don't have sides. <laughs> Vince is like looking at me. And I'm like, look at me walking to the front of this barn to go in. There's no side. You can walk in it anywhere. You can go well, But you do have to be want. careful. Because one of the firing ranges that I use has one of those. But the side is real low. And, you can and walk if you don't pay it? attention, mm -hmm. you can smack yourself in the forehead. Walk your head. With the wall. I literally walked. I, was, I didn't. I stopped because Vince didn't. So I was like, look at me walking to the front of this thing like I have to. Just ignoring that it has no sides. <laughs> okay, so pole barns are a thing even in North Maine. Cool. I just didn't know if that wording was a thing. Okay, if you can just no imagine, clue about a pole barn. If so. you can just imagine, if you don't understand what a pole barn is, a barn with no walls. That's basically what you got. No doors. It's held up No with back. Poles. No sides. It's just the roof basically held up with poles. Yeah, so it's a pole it's, barn. It's like a big, tall trampoline. <laughs> if, you've seen, if you've seen... Um, Teresa said like that you haven't been sabotaged with your crafting. 
No yeah. one sabotaged you today? Yeah. <laughs> if um, you were here for Scrappy Go Round, Vinny got sabotaged. God. I think we've been sabotaged. My Vinny died. got sabotaged. Oh, well. Can you reach behind you? Y'all can't hear me now. Hang on. We'll fix it. Uh, he got Ooh. sabotaged. We we saved him for last to do his part of the Scrappy Go Round. <laughs> he got back. And um, we told everybody to cut their paper wrong. Vinny did not. We told them to cut it wrong. And he was trying to just do his project, sweet as you please. And here he has got wrong measurements and everything. And I'm like, oh, no. And everybody said we sabotaged him. We did, but not on purpose. Okay. A yes. carport. A freestanding carport. Kind of like a carport. But, like, I, there are actual barns built, like, that are not, like, they're wood called pole barns. Okay. For those of you, think of a pavilion. <laughs> That's kind of what a pole barn is. Kind of. Anyway, I walked around the front like I had to go. In. <laughs> like I couldn't go in the side. You're too good to go in the side. I was too good for it. That's exactly what it was. Your mama taught you to go in the front door, My not the side door. Front doors. That's you right. Enter somebody's house from the front door. That's funny. I like to know that y'all have pole barns. I, I mean, it's just a, it's a thing. Then he well, was I mean, fun. It's you, go around. You know, a lot of, uh, uh, especially if you're in the Midwest, you have hay <laughs> barns. Or it's kind of what we call a pole barn also. So, Isn't a barn supposed to keep the animals in? No, that's the ark. <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell them that story too. Y'all, I'm so dumb. I, I'm really dumb. I was in my sewing room the other day and Taylor came over and I have this fabric stack laying there and it's Noah's art fabric. And she opened it. She said, oh, look, there's a little bearded dragon. And I looked at her and said, you think those were on the ark? <laughs> Taylor's so good. Taylor went, yeah, I do think they're, <laughs> they're here now. She was so funny. She did not give me any grief. She held a laugh in. She held it in until we got outside, and then I had to tell everybody. I literally went, you think that's wrong? Like, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. <laughs> Deanna says she wants to know why Noah brought them pesky mosquitoes. Oh, my goodness. Why? I don't know why I brought snakes. Snakes. Snakes and wasps. Snakes and snakes. I don't like wasps. And I can do without snakes. I felt like a kid. And Taylor just calmly. And was... you don't think you're funny, says Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the funny one. But uh... she thinks she is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oops. Or rats. Why in the world do you put rats on there? Really good. Look, I told you that I jacked one up. No, did I do it backwards. I think you did this one really good. Come on, you did do it. It's very well. Why are you having to fix it? It's then? just backwards. No oh, biggie. I mean, I could have done it backwards. I'm just there saying, I really do think this is one you did really good because it's folded really, really well. Woman, yeah. Either way, it's not mine. Look, if I did it backwards, that wouldn't shock me at all. I'm a little embarrassed. God heard me say it. <laughs> That's one of those moments where God just slaps his forehead, isn't it? Well, Trina, you're right. He did it because God told him to. Because God told him to. That's funny. I also How much love... better would this world be if we all did what I God told that us to do? that little fabric thing had bearded dragons in it. That's so cute because typically you don't see that. You know, it's elephants and zebras and tigers and bears and stuff like that. So you're telling me there were oxalotls on the ark? Oh, gosh, Why? <laughs> thing why were cockroaches allowed i don't like oxalotls like i don't have anything against an oxalotl i just don't like looking at them now i take that back the ones like you know ruthie makes those little stuffed ones those are super cute i don't like that in real life oh my goodness they're so cute i bought um i think i bought lydia one favorite well she has her stuff at rustic if you see one they are really really cute uh, a what? An oxalotl. Have y'all not just, seen these? Just Google it. It's A X O. I thought it was O X O. Oxalotl. It could be A. I don't know. I, I should know because I bought quite a few. Don't trust me, y'all. I am not the one to trust for information. <laughs> All right, let's put some together. 
You think cockroaches were a surprise? Surprise! A X O L O T L. A X O L O T L. Now, if you look at them on social media, they're cute because all their owners like they're um, in fish tanks and their owners will like draw faces on the fish tanks. They don't really swim or go nowhere. And so they'll draw these faces on the fish tank and they'll have like little top hats, and little <laughs> mustaches. And I told Lydia, I said, that's why you think they're cute. But you have to do that. Look, Lucy said it's a salamander with cheek fringes. With cheek fringes. And Amy says they're adorable. Mm. To each his own, I'm going to say. Exactly. Because I do not, I don't fall into that camp. I don't think they're cute. But Lydia wants one. How long are those cuts? I'm going with cuts. They're, um, the pieces, I cut eight, inch, next eight and a half inches of paper. Um, I did eight and a half by three, so it's a little. It's almost eight and a half, so she did eight and a half and then by three. Is what she started with the die. Yeah, it makes. It makes this much of a leftover, eight and a half by three. I love that. Did you read what Melanie had said? The problem is, Melanie, he watches all the channels at one time. <laughs> I love that, though. She <laughs> said, when I'm acting up and I then I think God might be watching me, I think of a commercial for myself and hope he changes the station. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's, yeah. That's funny. It'd be nice if it worked like that. Y'all are but. funny. Sometimes I'm glad he watches me get in trouble so he can get me out. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I love making rosettes too. I really do. I love rosettes. And this time of year, is it just me, y'all? But I like making felt projects this time of year. I told Amber today we had our product meeting. We have those once a week. We had our meeting this morning. I said, I want some felt. It's time for it. Like, I don't know what it is about spring that makes me want to do felt projects. Is anybody else? You would yeah, think that'd see, be I a always winter think thing. of felt as a winter project. But not I a... always want to do it in the spring. Am I the only one? I think spring. I've asked this question before. I think. Oh, wait. Where'd she say something about rocking the craft? Yeah, what do are mosquitoes good for something? So, did somebody say they were? Well, they're a food source for bats, according to. Are Karen. they? It's the circle of life. Yeah. Everybody's got to have somebody to eat. <laughs> y'all remember? Do you remember when um you were little? I don't know if this is the same for y'all, but our like time to be home with street lights. You didn't even have street lights on in yeah. your community. You did have them in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't have them in our neighborhood now, but our time to be home was street lights. And so those, remember those bats that would start flying around the street lights? I as soon as they didn't start say they didn't have lights. <laughs> well, I didn't remember his okay, neighborhood. Shannon, I am old, lights. but I ain't that old. <laughs> I thought that's we had electricity when I was growing up. He's like, you lived in Montgomery. <laughs> and have but I don't remember your people. neighborhood having poles of street lights. We do. Um, we didn't, we Tonka. We don't have them in our neighborhood now. We don't have street lights. And so my kids couldn't come home with we the street lights. We personally have street lights. No, we like don't we have, have that. We have light. Can that. you make them without the, the uh, dye? You can. The dye is just convenient. We want to make a bunch. Yeah. So do you remember those? Do you remember those bats that would come out? They always freaked me out. I was always expecting them like dive bombing, trying to get my neck. Because in my mind, they were vampire bats. <laughs> Best bug ever, though, when your kid is a, a, a lightning bug. When you're, oh, yes. Do y'all, I know y'all. No, actually, everybody doesn't have lightning bugs, do they? I want to say that one of my California friends that came to visit us was looking for lightning bugs. Didn't they have, and they said, I finally got to see a lightning bug. Were they so, from California? Yeah. I think so. I remember somebody coming and looking for lightning bugs. And was it Joe Terry? Is Joe She's watching today? Why do I feel like it was Joe? I saw her a while ago. Joe. Maybe it wasn't Joe. Somebody said that they came and were excited to finally get to see a lightning bug. Look, no lightning bugs in California. Then it was probably somebody from California, wasn't it? Who came from California? Roly polies. Do y'all see roly polies as much as you used to? I don't. Not as much as I used to. They know. used to be. When I was a kid, we played with them constantly. Yes. And I don't see them anywhere That's anymore. We killed them all. <laughs> we, we were rough on them. 
Those and the lightning bugs. Oh my gosh. I bet the lightning bugs in Nova Scotia, Canada are incredible. <laughs> have you ever seen the Firefly Festival they have in Cades Cove? No, I bet that's beautiful. Yeah, too. it's really pretty. You do have them in New Jersey? Wonder why some places do and some places don't. It's probably a Ohio weather, has lightning a bugs. Weather thing, a temperature thing or something. Terrence, when's the last time you saw a roly poly? I, I thought about this a few years ago. I don't remember, like, even, like, Addie and Emmy outside in the yard. Like, I don't remember any roly polies when we're outside. I mean, they look at bugs and they find, but our family doesn't have, uh, Florida family doesn't have them. They were amazed when the when the with the lightning bugs. Oh, we had daddy long legs. Yep. Y'all have daddy long legs? Some people call them granddaddy long legs. We had granddaddy long legs. My great grandmother was scared of them because she got bit by one. They say their mouth's not big enough to bite. My great grandmother swore she got bit by granddaddy long leg. I I picked them up. I'm not scared of them. I used to. I don't pick up anything like I used to. I just call for vents. <laughs> Remember the white dog poop? What was it? Somebody said, remember the white dog poop. I do remember um, dog poop turning white when I was little. It doesn't anymore. Does yes, it? Yes, it does. If it sits there long enough. I was going to say. Does it just not sit there long it enough? it just sat there long enough. Okay. And a lot of times it was outside it too, so it got bleached. I keep freezing up. Is that what it was? The sun bleaching? <clears throat> I don't know. I just think. What are the things y'all remember? Like when you were a kid, what was the thing this time of year you were so excited about? Number one, the daylight, right? Not the time change. Thomas loved spring. He loved daylight savings time. Is that what Light it is? Are we in? Too. Are we in daylight savings now? We are. It's Thomas's favorite because spring he never forward. wanted to come inside. Blake likes it because he gets to come home at night in the daylight. You looked forward to spring break. Amy said spring break. I always look forward to spring break because it was my birthday. Going barefoot. I'm not a big barefooter. Sandals. Sandals, baby. I didn't go barefoot. Now you can I go barefoot like sandal season. everywhere. Now I'm a tender Frog foot. croaks in the evening. I don't yeah. barefoot because one time I was walking from my dad's house to his barn, to his shop, and a little snake, I mean the littlest snake I've ever seen, like moving, was just skimming across the top blades of the grass. And it freaked me out. And if I don't walk through grass anymore. You like don't walk through I, the grass. I try to find a concrete path or something where I can see what's under my feet. And that little guy, he was just a little. I, you would have never seen him. I don't really know why we saw him, but so, we did. So what are you going to do with the land? Uh, I don't get where Sticks. I don't get into the grassy areas. Yeah. Liz, that's the same thing for me. I went barefoot everywhere. Dirt roads, concrete roads, asphalt roads. Oh, I love grass, those memories. Whatever. The smell of my grandmother's garden, running barefoot. Oh, gosh. Read some of those. The cicadas. I love the sound of the cicadas. So Josh has really got into um, going with me to the woods. I'll just say that. And But mostly during the winter. This will be his first spring to go and his to the woods. His allergies are killing him. But. I told him if he loves the woods, wait till he's in the woods when the sun comes up in the springtime and the woods just come alive. Annie, That's the coolest thing. Annie Gliz, I don't know how we did it either. It's so hot now to me. It gets so hot. But as a kid, we just stayed out in it. I don't know how we did it. Um, Bobby, for your club membership, um, you... Just use, what is it, club member, all one word, all caps, and type that in the discount section. If you need some help, you can call the store and they can instruct you further. Somebody asked how Thomas is doing with his disc golf. He's still playing. I don't think he's, I don't think he's putting as much effort into it as he used to. He does still play kind of recreationally, but he's, I don't think he's competing like he was. I, I don't know. He may be now that he's not having to work every Saturday. Well, again. he told me that he played a couple last time we talked about disc golf. He told me they played a couple weekends ago. He said, but we didn't do well. He said I was just playing with a buddy who wanted to play. Remember that? Yeah. He said we didn't. He said we were decent because we were using my score. He said, but we weren't. We didn't compete. Or they weren't able to compete. I'm trying to read all your stuff. Let's see. We stayed outside, outside and drank from the hose. We did. Right. Um, and didn't get sick. 
Nowadays, you'd think you was going to die if you From drank the out of the hose. How many of y'all have a hose? How many of y'all have a hose pipe? Or a garden hose. What do you have? We had a hose or a hose pipe. I said hose pipe. I just picked up the wrong one. I said hose pipe as a kid all the time. Hose pipe. I, I never said garden hose. Ours was a water hose. Water hose is another thing. I didn't say it. I said hose pipe. Water hose. Did you say water hose? Because you say water. A water hose. Vince does. Vince says water. What did you call it, Minnie? I think just the hose. I don't think I called it a water hose. hose. I called it a hose pipe. All right. So they got hoses, hose, garden hose. Hose, hose, the spigot. We do call it the spigot too. Not that, you know, the spigot's where the hose goes on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Vernia had a hand pump water well. Yeah. And you think about talking about being spoiled because we think we have to have a filter. Can you imagine 40 years ago when I was a kid buying bottled water? Oh no. Come on. I remember listen, I'm not the a age chance. I'm of the age I remember bottled water coming out. And my daddy, I ain't paying for water. You Go know what I'm talking about? Pot. I don't know if y'all got southern parents, but my daddy, I ain't paying for water. Like and, and I said to him, Daddy, you, you already pay for water because you pay for what he said. That's right. And uh, and that's what we'll drink. Fix you a glass. And that's what we'll drink. We ain't paying for water. Isn't that funny? Yeah. That is so funny how we grew up, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, they didn't even make drink. bottled water back then. I remember when it started coming out. Um, I remember when, um, so the reason Daddy would get so upset about it is they started charging you for water in the restaurant because you would get bottled water. Do you remember this? And instead of bringing you just regular, they'd bring you bottled water. And he would say, she'll take it from the, from the tap. Like he would say it. Um, but he was like, I ain't paying for water. Because I don't like restaurants that give you bottled water. Because then if you want to refill it, you have to get buy another, another bottle, bottle of water. water. Yep. Yeah. I never drank out of a puddle. Did you? Uh, no. I might have stuck my hand down in a in a in a creek or something and drank out of that. But I don't remember drinking out of a puddle. I was the kid. Of course, that, I mean, drinking out of the creek might be the same thing. I was the kid that my mama could tell me one thing. She knew what she was doing. Like for puddles, she would go. Don't jump in puddles, you'll get ringworm. That's she only had to tell me that one time. I don't know what ringworm was, never seen one. In my mind, I could imagine what they were, and they're not what they are. But she told I was the one who could it would I'll keep me up at night. <laughs> don't touch a puddle. <laughs> oh, absolutely hung it's clothes on okay. the clothesline. To dry. To hang clothes on? Yeah, we did that. All right, we got one more flower to make, and then we'll see how many we did in an hour. Um, yeah, because you got two minutes and you're at an hour. Clothesline. We had that. We did that. A lot of people still do the clothesline. And to be honest, if I had a clothesline, there's a lot of things I would still hang on the clothesline that I prefer, that I would prefer. I would prefer towels on the clothesline. I really, I never could do that when the kids were little because of Josh's allergies. I couldn't hang. There's no way we could hang his clothes outside. No. No way. He would be sick. Because um, Josh's hits him in his eyes. Just his eyes swell up, you know, so we never could hang stuff out. Josh's allergies to grass was so bad that he wanted to play football and Josh was really tall. And I mean, he was built and uh, so he was going to play tight end and he went out for a pass and dove to catch it. And when he got up, his stomach was just broke out in hives where his stomach went on the grass. Yeah, because like that's grass, how allergic he was. Grass was worse for him than anything else. Yep. Grass. Grass was worse than pollen for him. So he, he didn't get to play football. He didn't get to play. That it just didn't work out. We're like, you're gonna be sick all the time. Now, of course, they have, you know, a medicine you can take every day and blah, blah, blah. We never did the shots and all that kind of stuff. He didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. He was just like, I'll play basketball, it's inside. <laughs> Yesterday when we left the land, he was sniffing all the way home. He got home, he got to the house, and he was doing like he was when he was a, a teenager. Yeah. That constant Blow sniff. It out. And I want to go, have you taken your medicine? <laughs> Blake still he has said, to start his medicine way before spring starts to get here. Look, so I take it every Blake day, 365. I, give it to Noah. I, I just started because Noah's the same way as Blake is. As soon as like anything starts blooming. And Noah's been taking Allegra and it's not working. So I swapped him back over to something else now. 
I see other people saying they can't justify buying water. I'm telling you, it wasn't about justifying for daddy. It was the principle of the thing. <laughs> you got to remember too, my daddy came from a home that had well water. Well, it was actually spring water and they made a, they had a spring fed well. Um, and so the water was fantastic. Oh my goodness. And the only puddle I ever drank out of was there was a spot on my papa's land that we could go down. We went down this hill and the spring bubbled up and they had a silver um, ladle that was hanging on a tree. And you go down there and you get that ladle. And we did it like it was part of our, like a fun activity. We'd go down there and get that ladle and scoop it in the water. We'd be drinking water thinking we were doing something fun. We're just drinking water. I mean, you think spring. about Blue Springs. When yeah, we would exactly go there. That. I'll never forget Papa's, um, his ladle down there hanging on the tree. And we all went and did it. We all went and drank from the spring. My mama, I remember mama going down there. All of us did. All right, let's do what we did. It should be 13. I think we said we could do a baker's dozen out of what we cut. I think so. Look how pretty they are, you guys. They turned out really good. And honestly. Even the ones I folded. And honestly, the, um. The dye really did help this go quicker because if we had had to score all of these, we couldn't have done this many no. as quick as we did because we came back from lunch at about 1.15. We gathered our supplies. Shannon started cutting. If we had done this by hand, we couldn't have done it. So not this quick anyway. Yeah. We love walking in the irrigation ditches. Now, when I lived in Pensacola, my cousins, they did things I would never do. Like they did. Oh my goodness. They had a whole different world. Pensacola was a different world. They had pine cone fights. My cousins would, we talk about this to this day. They had a wood beside their house that they had put trails in and they would go out there and they would make mounds of pine cones on two sides of the trail, like the maze. I mean, tall as you stood pine cone piles. And then you buddy up in your battle zones and this team would go this way and hide and this would go this way and hide and think laser tag with pine cones. That's what it was. It was horrible. I don't know why I ever did it. I did it one time. I'm like, this is not smart. This hurts. So I was out. But they would do that. They would get, um, I don't know if it was crawdads or crawfish. What's the difference? Is there a difference in crawdad and crawfish? They would get them out of their ditch in their front yard. Mm -hmm. They would be in the ditch and they would go get them out and go boil them and eat them like in the now, afternoon. We would, my cousins and I would catch them, but we never ate them. My cousins, my little cousins would go catch them. Like, They'd crawl in the drainage pipes and all that. They would. Catch them. They were my age and they would go catch them and they would bring them from the drainage ditch into the kitchen. And my older cousins would cook them in a pot and they would eat them right there in the kitchen. And it freaked me out. I mean, I was a city girl. They were too. They're in Pensacola. But that's what they did there. They also, my uncle was a fisherman. All in how you raised. My uncle was a fisherman and he would bring oysters. I said it right. He would bring oysters in nets to the yard. This is what kills me. Think about this. From the water the night before, pile it up in a huge pile in the yard. They had lawn chairs sitting around it. And him and his buddies and the kids and everybody would sit around and take them off the thing, pop them and eat them straight from the shell. Been sitting there for hours. Like that's what they did. They ate oysters in the front yard. Crazy. Yep. I won't eat oysters in a restaurant. Thank you for that. Yeah, we learned, what is it? You should never eat an oyster in a month that doesn't end in May or or when it doesn't end in why, I mean. <laughs> in why. Is it when they do or when they don't? I think it's when they don't. I know, know when they do. Is it when they... Apparently, they don't eat that many oysters because they don't know. No, we don't know. Well, they can't be... Well, we usually eat them in the summer. I do not So those them. end in why. I do not eat them. Vinny eats them. So May, you only eat them in months that end May, in July? In Is that July, how you do it? Y'all tell me. What's the rule? January, February, May, July. Never eat an oyster when it's in a month that doesn't have an R. Is that it? This paper is the um, Echo Park Spring okay, Dots and Stripes. So months that have an R, it's okay to eat them. Well, then there's lots of people that are surviving because you go to the beach down here and there's people June, July, August that are all eating oysters. Is it don't eat them in that month or do eat them? I think it is it don't eat them in the month with R? Don't eat them in months that end in R. Uh, don't. So, yeah, Judy, I'll post anyway. I'll post on the community and I'll post in, on some short content somewhere what this looks like when it's done. We did so much that would have unalived us. <laughs> we 
we did. Ain't that the truth? So eat oysters from September to April during the summer months. They're busy spawning and their fresh their flesh becomes unpleasantly soft and milky. Okay. I don't know. I had an oyster one time on accident. <laughs> I did. My aunt used to order, do y'all remember, and they may still do it. Captain D's when I was a kid, this was a big fancy thing we did, okay? Captain D's used to do the family spread. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And about once a month, my Aunt Dottie, would go, Aunt Dottie and Uncle Ray, would go buy the, the um, family spread from Captain D's. And I think you ordered it by how many people you were going to feed. Is that how it went? You Seems told them like I need it. to feed this many and you would get everything on their menu. It was everything. It was boxes of fish, boxes of hush puppies, boxes of every, just everything. And um, we got home and I had my plate and we're all going around the table getting our stuff. And I was just putting stuff on my plate. I saw deep fried stuff, whatever. And I took a bite of it and it was pretty good. And I enjoyed it and ate it. But I remember when I bit into it inside, it had like a brown, I mean, like a, almost like a black line in it or something like that. But I kept eating it. Everybody else was eating it. And later I found out that was a fried oyster, but I didn't know that. It said, then I was kind of freaked out, but it was good. Well, the fried ones aren't near slimy. No, so, it was good. And some of the things that some of y'all have said, don't eat them in a, or don't eat them in a Y. I don't think you're eating oysters at any month ever. No, this is my favorite. This is my favorite one of the day. My rule is don't eat them in a month that ends in a letter. <laughs> I'm with that rule right there. I love that. I don't eat them at all. I don't eat in a month that ends in a letter. <laughs> I agree. That's good. Right like from the, the shell with crackers and hot sauce. That's how I like it. crab too. and put it in our Sunday spaghetti mm -hmm. sauce. I love crab. Love crab. When I was uh, a few years ago, I sang in a group and we did a uh, sang in a, in a event in Fort Walton, wasn't it, Destin? I think so with Brian Free. And Brian Free and Brian Assurance Free? was there. He's a nice sang, guy. And when the concert was over, we all went backstage and sat around a big pile of oysters. And Brian Free was cracking oysters, and we were all eating them. No, oh, Gina. Oh, they both did it at the same time. Oh. Oh, look at y'all. <laughs> Becky and Gina, I don't eat them here or there. I don't eat them anywhere. And they both did it. Y'all are both correct. That's hilarious. That's so Y'all can eat my oysters. Them. I'll eat your shrimp. Tabasco. With the, with the lemon. Say it again. Them eat your what? They can eat my oysters. I'll eat their shrimp. Where did I get it from? I do not say oyster. Where did I get it from? <clears throat> but I first. What are we talking about eating? Raw oysters. Crackers. Say hot again? sauce. Oysters. He said oysters. Did you say oyster? Oysters. No. no. He said oyster. Where did I get it from? I don't know. You said oyster. Speaking of, I like want y'all to be praying for Tamitha. Tamitha has been under the weather and she decided to bow out today and take a little medicine and hopefully take a nap. But listen, I want you to be praying for her. But the other day she messaged me and she said, by the way, the girl we watched, Becky from Acre Homestead that we watch on YouTube, apparently she says oyster. Because she said she says it like you say it. So it's I'm not alone. <clears throat> but I've been trying very hard to say oyster. I think I told you I discovered I say oyster. Yes. And the funny thing is the reason Tamitha knows is because we were taught we were debating it, not debating it. We were discussing it while I was filming a video and I kept going oyster, oyster, oyster. It was like 30 minutes of me um, saying oyster. Oyster. oyster, oyster. Oh my goodness. All right. We'd love to eat some crawfish. I'm not a crawfish person. I think about that, Bobby, a lot. Who decided, like, who decided to like drink the white stuff that comes out of a cow? Who decided this chicken's going to sit here and pop something out and I'm going to crack gonna eat it, it, crack it open and eat it? Who did that? Like, what what drives you to that? Who knows? It's It fascinates me. It fascinates me. Yeah, I'm yeah, still here. Gone. My computer just froze up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. So I'm here. All right, well, you're past 10 minutes over. Oh, all right. We made 13 flowers and we had a good time, right? We just had fun. We did. Um. Oh, they yelled, Noah. <laughs> he's he's coming. He's just not here yet. Shannon. Everybody's yelling, Shannon. We're like puffy buttons with the dots. Oh, I'm not sure what that was. The dye we used. I will link it for you. Zimmer. We'll link it. It's from Uniquely Creative, and it's one of three. They have three of them. I get them all. You're going to find uses for them. Like, these are really, these are good dyes to have. So, all right. Let's pray. Then he's going to pray for us, and we're going to head out for the day.
All right, let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for this day. I thank you for all your blessings. I thank you, God, for the time that we can share together, for the fun that we have, the laughs that we share, and the beautiful crafts we make together. God, thank you for the inspiration. Uh, thank you for creativity. Thank you, God, that you just let it flow out to us, and we thank you for that so much. God, I pray for those that are hurting, those that are sick, those that are struggling with issues. Um, God, you know every need intimately. So God, I pray that you would help us to turn our attention toward you, to focus on you, to focus, God, on what you're trying to do for us when you guide us through the storms of life. Lord, we love you. We praise you. Thank you again for every person watching today and for them being a part of this great community. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, thank you guys so much for being here today. It was super fun. I will post a picture of this when we get it all done. And until next time. Bye, Bye now.